Hello everyone. Welcome to Twenty Talks. How are you doing? Thank you for watching. Till I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye. Karam, all their lies that they have been telling us over the years. Just touch the altar and say I receive. By this time next year, you are a billionaire. The more you sow, the more God will bless you. The, the era has come to an end. This is religion revolution. Take it or leave it. Just touch. Touch my Agbada. As I wear this Agbada, as you touch it. As I sweat on the Agbada. Voodoo. Juju. Touch the Agbada and touch your head. And you mean you want fish to finish and all who bought them? Take a comb and comb your hair. As I'm combing this year, my victory is sure. Poverty, I comb you away. Sickness, I comb you away. Kiniko, I comb you away. If you are abusing Fufeng for selling soap, go and meet your old grandfather that started comb your poverty away. Comb your sickness away. Comb your genetic sorrow away. Go and meet them. They started this. And Fufeni is following suit. That is why Fufeni will carry soap. And sell his selling Fufeni sell Fufe soap. Miracle soap. To be a billionaire for $1,000. She's somebody that can afford $1,000. You want to tell me that person is poor? Somebody... Somebody that can afford one thousand dollar. This morning I was asking for something. They said that in a five now nah, about one point something. I can't calculate and for dollar. I said that is about thousand dollar. It be like saying I go excuse me. She's somebody that can that can afford one thousand dollar is poor. In a country where a lot of them Gary they can't even buy as expensive as Gary is. Nepal bill is on the high side. They are not talking to the government. And they say they are righteous people. What sort of righteousness is, is making them to wine and dine with politicians? What sort of righteousness is making them to keep quiet in the face of what is going on that I can't oppress that is going on in that country? What is the is that what you call righteousness? Righteousness is doing right and living right. Righteousness is speaking right. Righteousness is seeing what is going on, not when it's not going your way. Not when another politician is coming that will not favor you. Mm -mm. All these ones, all of them were screaming at that time, they were shouting. It was because they were asking this karma law, or whatever they call it, that they want them to start paying tax, that all of them now gang up. That is not what is called righteousness. None of them is living righteous. All of them are sorting their families out. They are sorting their children out. Go and sort your life out and your children's life. As a young person, go and sort your life out. If you go and waste your life, you will wake up one day, like many of us, and you will see that you have used your life. And on flag, they are really flagging on Facebook. Please love and like and reshare. Let me reshare. They are flagging us. Want to talk about video? It's so unfortunate that the people we are trying to rescue are the ones working for them. The people that when something will happen to you, they will dump you. They don't know you again. Now then you, they help the flag shows. We go liberate, we go free you from the shackles where you go put yourself. Especially people where they go join worker under them. Now those ones are the pity past. I am a worker. I am a, that's why I say, don't abuse that, my brother. Uh, Pastor, what is his name again? That I posted his uh, post yesterday. I said, don't insult him. Many of you didn't get the point. I had to lock the post in the comment section because you were not getting it and you were insulting him and I didn't like that. You didn't get the point of what I was saying. The man is not a, he doesn't hold his own church. Uh -huh. Pastor Rufus Adiago. The man is a pastor in redeem. Is the same thing like you and I that went to join. When you join them as a worker, eh? I have analyzed this thing for you. Please love and like and reshare. Once you flag, you won't flag. <laughs> they have touched the video. I have seen their hand. 
Pastor Ebi Emi said, if any other title. Ah, that's the video I want to analyze, Yusuf. I will do a short clip. Timba she turns him We will continue to. If they are not ashamed with all the things going on, they cannot keep quiet. You know why they cannot keep quiet? The free money is too sweet. The free money is too sweet. Imagine you yourself, too, you are not working. You wake up, and every Sunday, or every end of the month, you are counting 40 million, 50 million in your account. You will do whatever you can to, to protect it. That is what is going on. So I know for them, if they see somebody like me, then go don't buy me if I go to Nigeria, and I let them know they come to Nigeria. So I was talking about workers. When you join worker as a as a church in a church, all these Pentecostal churches, when you join worker, hmm, you have by yourself by yourself, especially all these do's and don'ts pass churches. I repeat, especially all these do's and don'ts churches, whereby your time of your time is not your time anymore. Your money is not your money. Your family is not your family. Everything, they have to tell you how to go about it. And that is why every January, they will tell you you are going to um, fast for 100 days. They will tell you, you cannot even sleep with your husband or your wife because there is a program going on. They will tell you, even you have to leave your children at home to come and attend program. Your life is no more. When you go, you give them your hand to put shackle. Your leg, how far you can move to put shackle. Your bank account, how much you can spend there. The money you work for, your own sweat. You have given them that authority to even tell you how to spend your money. You are telling them that in the place they will ask you to go is where you will go. And that is why a lot of you cannot make decisions. Without them giving you a go ahead. And that is why many of you do not have rest. By 6 a.m., you are already in church to sweep when they can employ a sweeper and pay a sweeper, especially in Nigeria, where people need work. What stops a church from employing some group of people to be cleaner in that church? With all the money they are collecting. But because they are silly full master, everything must come free. Your labor must come free. Your money is theirs. And that is why they will never employ a cleaner. They will never. But they can. They have the money too. God bless you, even those who go to them for marriage. You have to be the one to sweep. What stops them paying somebody to be sweeping three times a week? But everything has to be free. What stops them paying somebody to be cleaning their bedroom so that everybody coming will be relaxed? Here, Oyibo will pay people to clean the church. On Sunday, or you both have tea and coffee and snacks after service for everybody to take. And that money is not from everybody. The money is from the rich people in the church. Or you both have food pantry after church for people to pick food and go home. People that need it. Not everybody. Not everybody will pick. But people who need it will pack it. But your people will expect you 6 a.m. to come to church on Sunday. I am glad I'm out of that mess. 6 a.m. you have to be there to get the place ready. Pastor is still in his house getting ready. Even if he comes early, now in, in, now in business, he personal family business. He can afford to come 5 a.m. if he wants. But which one be your own? Will be say you are not collecting salary. So after your stress, Monday to Saturday, Sunday, you know, go get rest. And that is after you have gone to church, even during the week too. You know what? 
we are the problem of ourselves. Some of you will say, I did the government to provide something. I keep saying they have enough money to create jobs. You say they have created jobs by giving you schools. Really? School is the cheapest way to, easiest way to make more money. How many of you can afford the school? Um, one of your pastor, Israel ambassador went to his church and he said, what a waste. What a waste. What a waste. What stops them? Now is competition of building. Anyway, I'm not going to stay long. Thank you, Pastor Ibed Amina, because that yesterday I was, I felt so weak looking at that young man crying. A young man was crying that they pointed to the mother's head. All because of what? Now, if by now you don't agree that we are dealing with mafia souls, most of your pastors are mafia souls. And that is why, despite what is happening, um, this MFM case, nobody has said anything or look into the case. Those people are still crying for justice and truly they need justice. Truly, they need justice. Israel ambassador went to um, the door. The guy said, what a waste. Oh, what a waste. Because the guy was like, ah, uh -uh. this is what should be bringing income to the society. Create jobs. And just to make it a place that people will go on Sunday after Sunday, then during the week you lock it up. And that is billions wasting away. You would rather contribute money for them to build churches. Tell me what has those churches, the positivity it has brought to the country. Despite all the churches, what do we have in Nigeria? They crave for wealth. Because it is only about prosperity preaching. Sorry, let me snack on something. I'm beginning to feel hungry. The crave for health and wealth is what it has produced. We are by our people are all about money now. They are all about money and they will do anything to get the money. <laughs> they will do anything to get that money. Irrespective. Because they have told them, they have made them to feel. Yes, I'm a Nigerian. They have made them to feel that somebody who doesn't have money is a nobody. They are not telling them that capacity is different. Opportunity is different. What you are exposed to is different. The information you get that will give you breakthrough is different. Now, I was talking about justice for those three people. Nothing we will hear again. Those people are still there clamoring for the justice. Hopefully, they will be listening to one day. If your pastors are no mafia, they are no mafia souls. How come they are trying to stifle uh, the truth? The only thing that can be hidden, if you are lying, you need to keep lying. Truth is constant. And the truth has come to stay. When I saw Isaac's video yesterday, my spirit went down. Because it was one young man that I love what he was doing. Very young, humble man. Oh. Very young guy, very humble. The guy, will, he doesn't even, and the next thing I heard was that they went to his mother's house. For what? For what? Because he posted a video. <sighs> and I don't buy me if I didn't Nigeria. And I'm so glad that video went viral. The boy has deleted the video on his page. But on my page, I think the video has about four hundred something thousand dollars. Ah. Well, what you know, Nico? 400,000 views now, if I'm not mistaken. The guy has deleted it because what? They don't want that video to go viral. How can somebody wake up? If nobody say our mumu never do, he go tell you saying they sell soap, $1,000. And there will be people that will buy it. He has been selling all kind of nonsense 
and people have been buying it. If no be say, now the people. Talon sorrow, hatred of the church we and any don. Kilo share let me read po comment any ye. Shara wanti moti block kirini. Sherry, want to block him, but they will still come and be commenting on my show. Me, you really want to block? Okay, but you comment here. We swallow me one day. Let it swallow me now, now. If it's sure for you, I don't the dial of funa say if now so the power they work make me swallow me as I they talk now, now. Thank God, you need. You this I do need. The day the light right of God will call upon your head. Let it fall now, now, now. If it's sure for you. If it's sure. All the prayer when I they pray. Oh Lord. Heavenly Father. They will tell you God. I go turn out to wait you know they like now, now for you. Now that one they pay pay now for body pass. Call the name of Jesus three times. Say my father, my father. Call the name of, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, begin to decree, begin to decree, because I can see that the anointing is falling, the anointing to prosper, the anointing for breakthroughs begin to prosper. And mumu you, as na mumu rich. Yes, I will call it. The pastor is looking at how much is, how much he needs for his next project. Come in, Jerry. Screaming. How are you, son? Ah, what's it there? Cabo. How was work? I like this uh, work, work time, you pa. Early, okay. Cabo. As pastor, they look you. He's looking at the next project he wants to do. As far as he's concerned, you are ATM that is dispensing money. You are nothing other than that. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. Not be one of your general overseer. One rich woman call. We get problem. The book appointment. He has to he has to pay for the appointment. You think they are free to see them? That is why many of you can never see them. That is why they have people they see. It's not everybody they have time to see. Oh, low lady one. How many poor persons you don't see? We go see them. The only thing, the best you can do is when they are going, you see their car to run after their car, like after their car, like person we don't call. Oh. The best you can do is to see their car where they park them. As learned as you are, as educated as exposed, is to go and touch the car and say, Hey, I've touched the car of my father in the Lord. Oh Lord, bless me. As I touch the car. Let the anointing begin to fall upon my head. Now so your mumurish. Now so your mumurish. Call your family back home. Call that your sister where they village. Call that your sister where they Lagos. Where mumu? Where go touch car? Hey, I touched my father in the Lord. I was able to touch his car. I tap into the anointing. Which are your anointing they tap into? Which anointing? Anointing to do what? Anointing to scam people. Anointing to collect people money. Now question I ask. Now JJ, they do my analysis where you put, put, push, push me reach this stage. Or your God of man go sit down on top of share. I say, what can go finish? You go go sit down there. You go say you are sitting there. I sat on our daddy in the Lord's share. If the security they there, they not born you where to go and sit on his share. They no born you way to sit on his chair. That is to say, he get levels. No money, you cannot have contacts with them if you don't have money. Go and ask people that are getting their contacts. They will tell you they pay. They will tell you they pay. They have to pay to see them. Now she reach out. Then give her contacts of one of your general overseer. Now they say she has to register and then make appointments. And as she they go, she still carry fat envelope go. 
She go, she go see her. What face to face? Now, person where you can never see. He see the man face to face. Now, the man lay hand. He say, your marriage will never scatter. Your marriage is settled. I pray for your marriage. Now, the person tell me by himself. Your marriage can never scatter. Your marriage is settled. Your home is this. Your children are this. Now, the woman open mouth. He say, no reach one month. Now, his wife, husband go marry another woman. After that one. He said that that day, he no respect the person again. He no pass one month. Now they introduce the to her. No be only that she's going through so many challenges. May I cover that one? Because now all of us get waiting the paper us for leg. All your pythons. Even the one where we bring the evidence. Now so you say we they lie. She be Bishop Eli Daniel. The website still there. there. Can you see Bishop Eli Daniel without having money? He even get grade, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. Like Akube. Before you can see him. If you won't pray with you on the phone, he get great. And at three minutes, the prayer don't finish. If you like, make your prayer persist and your problem be that. Grade two. Prayer for 30 minutes. Get how much you go so before you pray. If you like, after that one, make your prayer persist. If you won't call him again, now you go pay. Grade three. You can bring car. And you get the kind of car you have to bring for him to follow you. Your propaganda will swallow you. Like that lady will come yesterday say, Ingo, anyway, I don't on that one. I don't on that case. I don't want to talk about it. Michael Adeshino, what's he blocking me? Me ori. What's he blocking me? Me ori. One more cotton, she won't block me, cotton work comments, so me will block. And you let me comment, yeah. Reply, you need more real life. A file, or it's a no, I bring your con. I want to see boo one by one, and lady. People wait on the cost of waiting. They cost us before they insult us. They are now our friend on this page. Leave her. Um. I can see his comment, oh, but I cannot see anything. If you decide. That your own children will serve them. She be now is that a ministry of Papa? No, Grandpapa, Papa, Peking, Grand Peking. We don't serve them, right? Me, I say my children no go serve them. My my children yet unborn, no go serve them. I don't call out. You where you they abuse me, eh? One man ni rometa okin toshi one ni ntori e bakpe ni. As you don't take your life, serve them. I bet you, when your picking go start to work, the money where your picking no fit give you, as you suffer rich for your picking, you know how our generation suffer. Generation after us too are suffering. They are even suffering more than us now to take care of children. The one after them, as things go be, we never know. If your children finish, especially those of you where they carry your children, go meet them. As young people, if they can indoctrinate your children, it is this indoctrination that Abel Damina is talking about. Most of you are not getting it. Abel Damina is talking about indoctrination. If they indoctrinate your picking, finish by the time your children will start to work, the salary when they collect them, your due now, so they will go carry and pastor, go give pastor, can't give you tashere as a parent. You, when you labor over your children. We can see a lot of these people. A lot of people are building for pastors. They no build for their mama and papa. A lot of people are sowing large seed for pastors. Their parents that really took care of them and suffer for them. Mama will sell gele. Mama will sell a hearing, a jewelry. Mama will hawk ugu to train picking. You know, see that money collect from them. Pastor, they collect more than double. If I'm James, you're welcome, sis. You saw the day when this guy came out. Kanayo, uh, Kanayo. Kanayo said, is it Kanayo, Kanayo? I think he was the one. He said, your January salary, your first salary is for your parents. That guy is experiencing something before he says something. Whether in Peking, said, don't they carry money, go to church. Now he said, come here. Come here, come here. That money is my own. <laughs> now me labor over you now. Now me labor over you. Why should you be giving my due to a pastor? Now, pastor be your papa ni. She na pastor be your papa. 
I be pass on no getting home picking. All of you clapping one day. You go see, say when your picking start to work. Your due. Now nah, say so your papa, your picking go the so and for pastor. While you are managing life as a pensioner, be that tired, tired. Go and look at people, most of the people sowing, selling their houses to go and sow seed. If not so, then they give parents if for good. We made that mistake. This generation should not make it. So after serving them, children should go and serve them too. Grandchildren. Now they are living, they are, know they are getting old. Who are they trying to give the church to? Their children. Their children showing it is a business empire. The church of Methodist, Catholic, um, Anglican, name it. Even though they say those ones only copy all these pastors too. Those ones, they give the... And why would they not copy them? When they see the way they are getting rich. If one pastor that used to collect seed of $5,000, $1,000, $5,000, today is only a, an estate, not only an estate, a waterfall in Lagos State, the biggest waterfall that is competing with the rest of the world, is owned by one man. A man that we don't know his job other than he was a pastor. Of course, from being a pastor, he started investing because they are smarter. You think when, they, when you give them the offering... They keep it in the bank to sleep. No. As you are giving them the money, they have investors that is helping them to invest, advising them. They have investment advisors. That is how smarter they are than you. The little way you get, you know the manager, you know think of waiting that money if you do. Any tere, the tere, make it just dead there. If you have surplus, but you would rather go and sow. And they are so wicked, they will even tell you, you have to clear your account sometimes. They have told us several times, clear your account for God. Because he's about to replenish that account for you. And you will go and clear account. I have a, a sister, like a daughter on my page. In those days, 251000 was what she had in her savings. That is all the money she has in her life. And they told her that she has to clear that money to sow a seed. For covenant partner, whatever nonsense name. Pentecostal came. They came with different names. Different names to collect money. This lady went to withdraw the money. And left only 1,000. She suffered it. So if you like as a youth. Waste your resources. They, will, they, are, so, they are so corny and manipulative. They will tell you that how much do you have that you are keeping. That little that you have, a little drop of water, make a mighty ocean. Let it be there. Let it be there. It will not, it will not, it will not reduce. It may not increase, but it will be there. And it will be useful. And if now one naira today, put them there, it don't increase by one naira. Like I always joke when I go to work, and somebody will say, but when you're there, you knew, my day was good. Oh, let's see me. Say my money increase. Because now what I go do, money must come inside. It doesn't matter how little to. Money increase. You are wondering why Nigeria is, is the way it is. You think it's only politicians. Right? You think it's only politicians. Politicians know they can be caught. Who are the people they are mentioning for money laundry? Why are they not saying anything? They keep asking that questions. Isaac, welcome back. Because you are one of my backup that I'm counting on. I don't they take you proud. I say I say they the junior ones are taking over very soon. So I can relax as a grandmama that you boys people call me. I tell you, your grandmother, go and take care of your children. I'm waiting for my children to born. They never born. They are still in school. At least they go finish school. They are working and one of them just come greet me now. You go here. Say, mommy, welcome, ma. He come greet me. If they work, if they go to school. When they start burning, maybe by then other people go don't join suits as we don't they see people. But because they're in Nigeria, then they fear. And I'm so glad that Pastor Abel was able to go to that boy to give him the courage and strength. 
Grandma, my auntie, I shame of what you are doing. What am I doing? I naked for social media. Also, you are you would rather see me like all those grandmama when they're almost naked, they dance, they shake hands. Now that's what you want me to do for social media. I know, I know go do that one. Now waiting the generation yet on board go remember me for. You may not align with what I'm doing now, but trust me, one day you wake up to align to it. And a lot of you agree with what I'm doing, but shame and stigmata is it stigmatization or ostracization ostracize you don't want you to be ostracized among your brethren so that they never see you as backslider a bad i mean i tell you we was telling you that you if you think say now only christian get heaven you say you make you go check your brain he said because before jesus came there were people and when jesus came there was no christian now some people coined that name and say we are christians me i don't know that one like since four years four or five years ago but i always say we are not right for some things but i'm glad it's coming from pastor Ebed Damina. please let's keep giving a purpose to Ebed Damina this um, this um, support anytime you see his video share it it's making sense i'm not talking of his old videos though his new videos is making sense if you like circulate his old videos we are not interested in his old videos this is the new era is a new dispensation is the gen z generation of soros okay we cannot afford the only thing we don't want is for people to be disrespectful we don't want that to work. your pastor's children are enjoying life can't you see the way they are enjoying life how many of your children is living the kind of life they are living and you think they are doing right the money of the whole world the money of a lot of millions of people the they, they, they pocket it and today their children are even using it to flaunt to toss you you that contributed and some of you that contributed 20 30 years ago you are still in it today your own children cannot match up your children cannot even touch their shoe their children's shoe that is how much you empower them without the, the multitude without their members they can do nothing one of them was saying, um, the, the five loaves of bread and the two fishes was enough for him. He will never pray for money. How will you pray for money? Even me, we no we no be billionaire, we no be millionaire in dollars. Self. I'm not praying for money anymore. Me, I don't pray for money. And to shock you, I know they even pray anymore. Because prayers are nothing but wishes. I know they pray. If anything happen, now to look for a way out. I my picking nowhere. Make we go as speed too. Anything happen, there is solution for anything that happens. And all the nonsense they are putting in your head that one generational cause is chasing you. Not the generational something we have, eh? Generational ancestors. I waiting that they call them ancestral spirits. Now we're politicians. Now we're leaders in that country. They are the ancestral spirits. They are the principalities and powers that we have. Satan is not chasing you. Satan does not even know you. I mean, you don't take your eyes to Satan before. Now, woman being be Satan. Now, woman being be God. So, God will create Satan. In hand, you know, if he touch Satan. Now, you, we don't know anything. Now, you go come fight Satan. No wonder they will tell us. I tell you, these pastors know more than, and I know Pastor Rebel will still open up more one day. If you like, call him atheist. It's waking logic. So we, we, <laughs> who are we? Now we go come fight Satan, win Satan. It makes sense to you. And that is why they make you blow the hair for so long. Begin to fight the Satan. Every kid can oh yeah, begin to jump on the Satan head. The job where you jump this year, now you go jump next year. She be December, don't they come? How many months to December? Five months. They go begin give you uh, army work as you go jump. 
as you go mash, as you go, you go some assault into 2025. The same thing they give you in 2023, they will carry you. It don't they carry you reach 2025 because the principalities and powers we are fighting is our government. They are the principalities and powers. They are the rulers in high places. Not any spirits. They are the rulers in high places. If your pastor is boasting, saying, you know, they pray for money, I don't pray for money again, too. I can't remember the last time I woke up and said, God bless me. No. I can't remember the last time I prayed and said, God bless my children. No. I can't remember. My children, go and work. Manage your resources. Plan for your tomorrow. Invest. Don't waste your resources. Live well. Don't go and join bad group. Look at my sofa. As parents, they talk to children. Pardon me, I don't suffer rich. You, you see this, my breast, the way you suck. Yeah, they take and beg you. No go join bad group. Look at my sofa. That is the only encouragement. Avoid distraction. No drink waiting, you no know, suppose drink. No smoke waiting, you no know, suppose smoke. There is no spirit behind somebody smoking. There is no spirit behind somebody drinking. Depression, they carry people drinking. They carry people smoking. Habit, they carry people smoke. They carry people drunk yes, they drink. And they become drunkard. No be spirit. To stop it, now determination. No be by deliverance too. Personal determination. Especially adults. But what will they tell you? Then go say a spiritual attack. Ah! These people. My question is, you see what Ebed Amina is doing now? Now the thing where attracts me to Christianity in those days, when I was still a teenager, I'm talking about 40-something years ago. What Abel is doing was what attracted me to Christianity. Until we found ourselves where we find ourselves. And me, I've been doing the query this thing as a worker in Redeem. Before I became very deep in the workforce, I didn't know what was going on. But when I now become a pastor's wife, I now begin to see what was going on. I started questioning them. I said, no, something is not right. Why should this be this? Why should this be that? We have people hungry in the church. And we collect offering and tithe. The Bible says, make this so that we meet in my house. Now one person, they chop the food. And we go carry the money, go. We go send everything. Next Sunday, hungry people come again. Now I begin to say, why is this like this? This is not right. This is not fair. Now, redeem people go begin no say no wonder she doesn't attend the meeting. No wonder I stopped being fully involved. I said no. This is not right. Up till now, she be when we shout during that time there was famine in Nigeria a few months ago because we scream. All of them roll out food. We are giving food. We know here anything again. I want you hear the smell. Who did they deceive? They roll out food. The food where we say they still collect money from the member. They went to open an account. All the money they have been collecting, what can they take out of it? They still went to open an account for food. They can't touch their money. I've always told you it is abomination for them to touch their money to use it for people. It's abomination. All of you saying they are helping widows. Being one widow, we don't survive where we are. We in life, they can't pay from them. If you see them helping any widow, now you say the widow, they useful for them. I talk am. The widow must be a worker. They cannot help widow with a no no. Mm -mm. That means something must go for something. They something must go for something. You must give to receive from them. Either you give yourself as a labor. 
upon all the money where they did their hand, they will still be. Church is born now. They are asking money for people to contribute. A person that has a church, that has a bank, a pastor who owns a bank, is still asking people to contribute, to build the church, to repair, to renovate. All I need is something. Only work for me more. Come and shut my mouth. Be sure of what you are saying. Mm -mm. Most of money, more are redeemed. Timba paro won kwa wa kwa wa shikini mi onshara wani ara wani mi now. I am speaking from experience. They about what? Timba ti wa change it. Koko maybe they have changed some things. Redeemed that I know. They never paid my husband as a pastor. He was never paid, even as a part time pastor. She both fit time and Here. If pastors are preaching here in a um, in a in a one Baptist church that I follow somebody to, the pastor after any pastor that preaches the the, the day he preaches is collecting two hundred dollars. It's not free. It's not free. Why? Because money is money is coming into the church, and that is a Baptist church. It's not owned by any money, but anybody. The money that is coming is supposed to be spent for people. Not for one man to gather it and go and build one Macarius tomorrow. Or one person to go and build one uh, Mount Camel. Or one person to go and build uh, uh, the, the landmark that members cannot even afford. They pay salary. I mean, they pay them money for... If a minister is preaching this Sunday, after preaching, he has to collect his $200. The Baptist church I went here. It's not free. But what do we have? We are the ones spending our money. If nobody, nobody will tell me, they should come and meet me now. If I'm lying. They should come and meet me. When I tell you that you are user and dumb, Maybe they don't forget in New York, my day now. Go and look at what is happening in the city of David. <laughs> Even though that one sweets me small. Oh, she tapa, oh, she won't tapa if you want love, if you want funny. Eh, it's the case of Pastor in New York, my day. Hmm. The band will make him a woman. Go and see. We never, we, we never collected them. We were the one using our money. We use our money to rent the space, renovate the space, our own money. Buy instruments. Pay workers when the offering is not enough because we have to remit compulsorily. I don't know the, what they are doing now, but that was how it used to be. More than to watch change anything. So I know what I am saying. He said, you better be sure of what you are saying. Look, 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 you think um, I'm the type of person you will come and bully to shut up. I know what I'm saying and I know I'm doing my... You have sent your lawyers to come and be watching my videos. I have seen like two lawyers that used to watch me silently. I block, block them off. Two pro... I block them off my page. Kill them while you page me. One on So that you can... So that when I make mistake, you can record it. I say you want to take me to court. Court will buy you an idea. Anyway.